heart and soul of the game is at the boxing voice. Ain't no other sight in the game to see the boxing voice. Robin, the boxing voice here with tonight's big winner of the Boxino tournament, John Thompson. Uh, first off, you got all your belts on. It's got to feel good to get that second round knockout. How do you feel? I feel great, man. You know, I love being the underdog. You know, everybody takes me for granted. But as you can see, boxing prevailed once again. All right, and yeah, you talk about underdog. You kind of came in as a replacement. So do you think you proved more by coming on as a, as, you know, as a, as a guy that wasn't originally on the roster? Um, I'm not so sure about more. I believe that since my last defeat, you know, everybody just, they, they not thinking about me at all. You know, so it's like, eh. But now, it, to me, it's more so where they look at me and they say, okay, you know, this kid, I mean, that, that was a fluke. You know, think this kid came for real, for business. All right, going to the fight, what uh, what did you, what's going through your head when you saw him hurt? Well, uh, when I saw him hurt, I thought, you know, I told myself that this is my chance. I mean, I got, I got to take him out of here. Other than that, I'm going to be waiting on later rounds. I'm, I'm in his hometown, I'm in California. You know what I'm saying? So I know I'm going to have to either knock him out or win, win real big. All right, and this is a pretty significant card, seeing that's the last uh, ES, ESPN2 Boxino tournament, um, you know, after 17 years. So does that kind of have any significance with you, seeing that there's so many eyeballs on this card tonight? It may be the finals for this tournament, but this is the beginning for me. All right. So, so okay, the fight's over. Um, you know, you know, fighters don't really like to call the fighters out when they have an opponent in front of them. Who do you want now? Hey, I want the number one spot, you know. So, I mean, whoever number one, that's what I want. And you're, you're in a loaded division, and it has a lot of a lot, a lot of talent in it, a lot of up-and-comers and a lot of veterans. Um, who out there do you think you can showcase your skills the best off? Um, who's the most attractive opponent for you? The most attractive? I, I really couldn't say, you know. I just take them as they come. I mean, whoever, you know, is willing to step up to the plate, I'm more than, I'm more than welcome to, uh, to take them on. All right, now you're with GH3, and they're, they seem to play well with the other promoters, so um, you seem to not be uh, at that disadvantage with all the politics going on in boxing. Uh, do you feel that this is going to help you get the matches you want? Well, um, I believe that me just being who I am and setting my own pace in that ring says a lot about my character. And, you know, I mean, if, if it's nothing nobody can do. Once I, once I keep winning, I mean, they're going to have to give me a shot, you know, and once I get that one, one spot, I mean, they're going to have to, yo, there's nothing they can do about it. Yeah, we saw like the likes of Asselino Freitas. He, he, he became a champion and a star. And recently with Willie Monroe, he got a shot at Triple G. Do you think this is going to help you as, as a platform to launch you to that next level? What you're just saying, what you want? Oh, definitely. I mean, you know, having a WBO and WBA and ABA titles, um, they put me at a top rank. So I get the, I mean, I, get, I know I get a title shot. Right. And what's your overall, um, you know, perspective of your weight class, seeing that it's so loaded? Well, um, I love the fact that my weight class is loaded, you know, because in order to say you're the best, you have to go up there and fight against the best. And I believe that I have the best fighters are around 147, 154 pounds. You know, that's where, I mean, you got Floyd Mayweather, Saul Alvarez, you know, you got a, you got a couple of great fighters. All right, and you seem to have, like, you, you take on all comers. Um, with a lot of fighters kind of avoiding other fighters, maybe, do you feel like you're kind of that breath of fresh air where you can come on, you take on anybody? Definitely, you know, I mean, I believe Styles wins fights, and I'm able to adapt when I'm in there. All right, yeah, definitely. You, you, you displayed your, your boxing skill tonight, uh, you know, from the outside, heard him and, and closed the show. So any last thoughts of uh, your performance tonight? Well, um, I say this, man, my, my goals in life are set, therefore I call them my destiny. You want something, go after it. That's what I do right here. All right. Any, any, any last words? You feel like, you know, you're, you're, uh, you're on cloud nine right now. Anything you want to <laughs> give out to the box fans out, um, who are watching this right now? Now, I just want to say, for all you that believed in me, thank you. And for all you that didn't believe in me, thank you. <laughs> all right, well, congratulations on the win. That was a uh, very impressive second-round knockout. And uh, I'm sure it's going to do things for you. We'll be catching up. Thank, thank you, Rod.